Thank you very much. Um, here we are. It's about half an hour after lunch, and you're all starting to probably be thinking about that afternoon cup of coffee or tea. And maybe you don't know why that is. But what if you had an app? that would let you see inside your body and what was going on so you could help understand why you're feeling this way? Or better yet, what if you could have predicted maybe an hour ago when you were having lunch just what you would need to eat to have more energy to be, to be, <laughs> to be awake during these sessions? So for you, maybe rice spikes your glucose and having that rice at lunch wasn't the best thing. And for, for you over here, perhaps you knew that you had time for a 10 minute walk before the session, so it was okay that you snuck in that, that brownie at lunch. Well, good for you. I, I know my glucose is low right now because I skipped lunch before this, but you probably don't know what's going on with your glucose. I'm bringing all, all this up because today I'm here to share with you um, that we're entering a time where technology can provide personalized information right at your fingertips to help you make decisions that will help you stay healthy, have energy, and live the life you want. With the, rapid change of, with the rapid change of technology comes new data and changes into the way we live our lives. When I left San Francisco yesterday, an app told me what time to leave the airport, based upon, to leave for the airport, based upon real-time knowledge of traffic and the airport security lines. And this morning, <laughs> I checked an app on my phone to see how, my, how much screen time my 12-year-old daughter was getting on her new phone she just got. And this morning, I asked Alexa in my hotel room to tell me what the weather is gonna be like, so I knew I didn't have to bring an umbrella with me today. Well, I hope that's true. And right now, my watch is telling me to breathe deeply because my heart rate is going a little fast because I'm on stage talking to all of you. We make so many decisions and adjustments based upon the data that we have access to. And it makes you wonder what future adjustments we'll make in five years from now when we have access to even more data. In 2028, you may wake up to an app giving you personalized recommendations about what to eat for breakfast, based upon what your body needs for fuel, based upon what your schedule is that day. And maybe you don't have to go to the doctor that day because your data from your body is streaming in real time to the doctor and they can let you know when something is, is odd and reach out and, and, and contact you. Now, we're not quite there yet, but that future isn't far off. My company, Abbott, has been providing technology that helps people across all stages of their life for more than 130 years, whether that's from closing little holes in tiny preemies babies' hearts to that COVID test in your medicine cabinet. And the area that I get to talk to you about today is that next evolution health technology, biowearables. You've no doubt heard about wearables like watches and rings and bracelets. Well, biowearables take this to a whole nother level because they literally give us a window into what's going on inside our bodies. So I've spent the last 20 years of my entire career helping people see what's going on inside their bodies. One of the first biowearables that I helped develop was Abbott's continuous glucose monitoring technology, the Freestyle Libre, for helping people living with diabetes. Now this system measures data directly from the body and shares it in real time. The biomarker that it uses is glucose, but our bodies have lots of different biomarkers. When someone with diabetes knows the way their glucose is moving, they can make changes in the behavior, in what they eat, in the amount of insulin they inject, what they do for exercise based upon what is happening in their bodies in real time. Before 2014, when we introduced Freestyle Libre, People with diabetes relied on painful finger sticks to measure their, measure their glucose levels four times, 10 times a day, every day to check their glucose levels. And these finger sticks only provided a snapshot in time of what their glucose was doing. It didn't provide trends and trajectories. It was just an instant in time of what their glucose was doing. Our technology changed all that. And now we have randomized control trials and real world evidence from millions of people that show how this small device helps people with diabetes live a better life. And the thing is, the Freestyle Libre technology doesn't deliver medicine. It doesn't change what's going on in your body. It gives people information that gives them the power to take action and improve their health. We know this because we see it in our clinical studies. In most of our studies, the studies start with a blinded sensor wear. So that is, people are wearing the sensor, but they don't have access to what their glucose values are doing in that moment. But we do this to collect information. 
And then, after about two weeks, we give them access to the glucose values in real time. We give them the app or turn on the reader so that they can see what the glucose values are doing. And it's incredibly powerful what happens. Instantly, there's a change in behavior that people with diabetes know what to do. They know how to modulate the insulin they take. They know how to see what effect that food and, and exercise is having on their health. And they will make real-time decisions based upon the glucose value shown on the device. And people who use the Freestyle Libre see improvements. They see life-changing health improvements based upon um, the use of the device. They see reductions in their A1C. They see um, reductions in their time in hyperglycemia and hypoglycemia. They see decreased diabetes-related complications and improved quality of life. And we knew the power in this sensor technology pretty early on. So we've been starting to expand this biowearable technology beyond diabetes space to help even more people have access into um, a, a window into their bodies and improved health. A few years back, we launched a biowearable called um, with a company called Super Sapiens that's used by elite athletes to help them better understand how their nutritional choices impact their training and performance. Let's hear from world marathon record holder Elliot Kipchoge. He's also a four-time winner of the London Marathon about how his team and him used this biowearable technology to improve their training. Uh, the chair and the banana is actually comfortable with the stomach, so that's okay. The body was capable to keep a flat toe for much longer time. It was nice to see. And I'm learning now exactly what is happening in the system. What drives the body of a human being is the food. And glucose actually is purely food. So if you have very low glucose, then you can't perform. The way the gadget works is that it gives you all the possibilities when you're sleeping, when you've taken a meal, when you're training. It will help us to know this athlete needs to have A, B, C, D taken care of as far as energy is concerned. Our body is helping people to understand their body's potential and transforming the future of sport. I'm inspired every time I hear him talk. Um, and it gives us an idea of this potential for biowearables. What if we could give more people access to understanding what was going on inside their bodies? Well, we're developing a line of consumer products called Lingo. Um, let me give you an example of where they might be used. So the London Marathon is coming up next month. Maybe some of you in the room are training for it. I haven't run the marathon myself, but people tell me there's a little bit of pain involved. And I've stood in the Abbott um, cheer zone back in, um, back in 2016 and, and watched people. And uh, well, what if we had a, bear, a bio wearable that lets people measure lactate? Now, lactate's a biomarker, a key biomarker that indicates our body's response to exercise. Um, if we were able to measure lactate during training, could we track our improvement, make, train, make changes to, to diet and training regimens? Could we, get, could we get to an optimal performance for race day? Um, maybe avoid some of that post-race cramping. But most importantly, achieve that lifelong goal, whether it's running your first marathon or a, 510, or a 5K, biowearables can help you get there. We also know lots of people today are trying the keto diet. Now this is a diet that's extremely low fat, excuse me, extremely low carb, high in fat, um, and puts the body into ketosis where the body burns fat for energy. The problem is people don't really know when they're in ketosis. Um, but if you were wearing a sensor, a bio-wearable, that let people know when they were in ketosis, uh, they wouldn't get frustrated. So often the problem with the keto diet is people don't know that they're in ketosis and they get frustrated because they don't see a change. Um, but if you're wearing a, a, a bio-wearable that gives you access to your ketone levels, you can see just what foods keep you in ketosis and stay in ketosis and, and actually burn fat for improved health and energy. Bio-wearables aren't just for people who want to lose weight though. Biowearables have the potential to help doctors make more accurate diagnoses, help people recover at home instead of in the hospital, or even decrease the cost of healthcare. I'll give you an example. While we have amazing diagnostic capabilities today, there are still limitations. Nearly all tests are kind of that point in time. Um, but we can understand the numbers right at that moment, but those numbers could change over hours or over moments. 
And some tests are limited to being able to be done just in a hospital. Well, biowearables can measure biomarkers continuously, and both at home and in the hospital. I'm sure the doctors in the audience, um, they could think of lots of biomarkers that they would like to measure, where continuous monitoring could add value and save lives. Things they can only measure a couple of times a day now, where with continuous technology, you could suddenly have an alarm at the nurse's station to let you know when a patient was crossing over into a, a dangerous threshold. And even more powerful, what if we could measure multiple analytes, multiple biomarkers on the same sensor at the same time? I'll give you an example where that's um, critical. Whereas people on the keto diet want to achieve ketosis, have elevated ketones, for people with diabetes, ke elevated ketone levels can be very dangerous or even fatal. Today, if people with diabetes want to test their ketone levels, they do that with a finger stick or with a urine test, but most people don't do that. They don't understand how important it is for, for managing their diabetes. And they also don't have access to these tests. They don't have them in their, in their homes. That's why we're working on a sensor that will measure both glucose and ketones at the same time, and that'll be in pivotal trials this year. So measuring glucose and ketones together at the same time will give people with diabetes the peace of mind that they know what's going on in their bodies. Now, the future of biowearables is game-changing for personalized health. Today, wearables track steps and heart rate and sleep quality. Sure, that's a good start, but there's much more that we can do and learn by knowing what's going on inside of our bodies. Biowearables have already proven how data can help empower people to make better decisions about their health. Direct data from our bodies in our own hands will allow us to unlock even more personalized insights to inform how we can be our healthiest. So five years from now, when I'm talking in, at Wired Health 2028, um, probably in the metaverse, um, maybe your dinner that night will be delivered by a, a drone, of course, but it'll be a, a bespoke meal kit that'll give you exactly the food and nutrition that you need for that moment. That'd be cool. But it's not the cool factor that's driving this revolution. It's about better health. Bio-wearables provide an insight into our health that has never before been available. And with that, I thank you all for your time. Thank you.